creative friends, I'm Jane from Sustain My Craft Habit. What do you mix when you get inexpensive thrift store photo with some pine cones? Beautiful, budget-friendly spring decor for your home. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're joining with some of our favorite fellow Canadian YouTubers for the We're in a Lockdown collab. We were challenged to use dollar store, non-craft or essential items, or items that we have at home, make something really creative and fun with. I recently came to visit my mom's home and saw something beautiful that she had made. It's a cherry tree or cherry blossom inspired piece of art. And while I love the white little pine cone cherry blossoms with the blue sky background, I wanted to recreate it, adding a little bit of pink to those flowers and a slightly larger canvas. You really only need a few supplies, many of which you likely already have at home, to make this really budget-friendly piece of art. So let's get started. For your project, you'll need a canvas. You can use a blank canvas or a repurposed canvas, which as we're doing, this one we picked up at our local thrift store for like $1.25 and it's cute, but doesn't really go with the color scheme in our space. So I actually want to use the backside. It's kind of an improvised lazy reverse canvas. A reverse canvas is truly when you take the canvas out flip the frame over, reapply the canvas, and then use that side just so that it has a really nice frame around it. But we're going to kind of just cheat because I don't want to go through all that work right now. So we're going to start with the canvas. We're also going to need a bunch of pine cones. So these cuties are ones that we have, or I have in a tree out in my backyard. We need some snippers to cut them into little florets. We need some pink and white acrylic paint. We also need some chalk paint or chalky finish paint. This is Rust-Oleum's chalk. It's left over from a previous project, so I'm gonna hope it's looking okay in there. We need paint brushes. We need some twigs. Fortunately, I have some cherry branches from a tree in our property at the cottage. So we're gonna use those, but you could fake it with other twigs from another tree if you don't have a cherry. And then finally, some glue. I'm gonna to try to use this tacky glue, but you could also use a hot glue gun with clear craft glue. As I mentioned, I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum chalky paint in linen white. And I'm actually going to paint the entire back of the canvas, as well as the frame itself with this chalky paint. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to go roughly through here. And to tell you the truth, I've been humming and hawing about how to finish this frame, but I think I wasn't sure whether I wanted to stain the wood or paint it a darker color. But again, I'm just using what I have at home and this is what I happen to have. So we're going to give it a good coat of paint. And then I think I will actually sand off a bit of it to have a distressed look for the wood frame. And yes, you heard me right. We are still in a lockdown in Ontario, Canada. So today's collab hosted by Lisa and Company, Domestic Diva DIY, DIY at the Schwannen's Nest, and Simple Yet Chic was really a fun way to be creative using what we have at home. Be sure to check out the entire playlist full of really fun and creative ideas. Next, we're just going to sand the frame of the photo to give it a little bit of a distressed look. The next step in our craft is to paint some pretty pine cone flowers. So this is really the fun, a little bit time consuming, but relaxing part of the craft or the project. We're using these cute little pine cones that we have available in our, my backyard, as I mentioned, here in Canada. I'm not quite sure what variety, it's some kind of spruce, and they are about an inch and a half long and really pretty flower-like design. 
So all we need to do is take a pair of clippers or really sharp scissors and in between the scales of the pine cone is cut it up into smaller pieces. These snippers are not ideal. I can't find the other ones that I was using to show you, but you want ones that have a little bit longer nose and then they'll come out a touch cleaner, but that's okay, you get the idea. This is what they look like on the back side and on the front side. So it looks like a little flower with petals. And we're going to keep going until we cut up probably about 20 of our pine cones. Depending on how big our piece of art is going to be, you may need more, or if you want to keep it like one simple branch, you're going to use less. So just take your time and be careful with this part, not to snip your fingers. Now it's time to paint our cherry blossoms. So I actually have here white and two other shades of pink acrylic paint. One's a bit darker than the other. So they're typically white and then they have darker centers. So you'll notice when we painted that we left the center of the florets darker or unpainted. And then you can just alternate between light pink, white, and the darker pink. So there's really no right or wrong way to do this. We're going to take one of the florets from the pine cone, dip our paintbrush into a touch of the pink paint, and then blend it with a little bit of the white paint and start painting. And it gives kind of a bit of variety in the color as we do so. If you'd like, you could also wait till it dries and then paint the back of the florets, but um, we didn't necessarily do so. Or if you'd like, you can get into some of the scales of the pine cone that are kind of layered back in there. That's it. One done. I really love the tops of the pine cones. They're my favorite. They're so cute and delicate and very, like, truly like little flower petals. So you want to use a fine tip brush to really get in there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. If getting paint on your fingers bothers you, you can consider wearing a pair of gloves while doing this. Do you have a lot of pine cones of different varieties in your area? Have you used them for any crafts? Let us know, leave a comment below. Or are there any pine cone crafts you would like to see us try to make? If you're feeling extra fancy, you can later take some of the pine cones that have already dried, some of your florets, and blend in some additional colors in the center to get that deeper effect in the center. Or conversely, you could touch up some of your darker ones with a bit of lighter paint. Really at the end, when you're looking at this piece from farther back, it's the whole piece of art together that makes the impact rather than individual pieces. Okay, we're gonna set those aside to dry before moving on to the next step. So you're going to pick some branches that have some smaller branches coming out of it, just for interest. And I've cut this one to fit pretty much right into the center of my frame. I'm going to trim this one down a little bit. And I like how this one comes across here. So we're going to glue that one in place. And I have this one, which I will fit here. I'm going to actually make it a little bit shorter. And then it's going to be right there. Let's see, so now I also have this one I'm going to put in here. And the idea is to have a nice, almost crisscrossing of the branches. This one also has a few nice long ones coming out, so I'm going to actually cut it right about here. Maybe this one will go right here, right beside. And trim it to size here. There's really no right or wrong to this. If you'd like, you could have your branches even extending over your frame. You could do it uh, vertically for a taller picture. I think we'll put one more here, like that. My branches are already, <laughs> it's spring, so they've actually started to bud a little bit, but that's okay. So that's going to be the branches of my piece of art, and I will just glue them in place. You could use either hot glue, or I have this tacky glue I'm going to try, see if it will work to hold everything in place. Put a little bit of glue right there at the edge, and then I may need something just to weigh it down a little bit until it dries in place. So unfortunately the tacky glue did not work, so here I am with my handy dandy hot glue gun. And I think that will do the trick. Have you ever done that in crafting? Been a little bit lazy and then later ended up regretting it. So 
we're just going to glue down our branches a bit just to hold them in place. It doesn't have to be too, too much. But because they're not straight, they're having a hard time securing to the canvas a bit. Now that the branches are securely in place, it's time to add on our cherry blossoms. Now there's no particular rhyme or reason to this. We are just going to keep placing them, some at the junctions of the branches and the twigs, and others just wherever we think it'll look pretty. I'm going to add this one, just kind of nestles in there. I like the different pinks. Um, of this piece but as I mentioned before you could go with all white if you prefer but because my frame is white and the background is white it's really nice to have a little bit of color with the pink blossoms and because I collected these ones in the spring you can also see and use as a guide almost where the blossoms would naturally be forming right now You have a favorite spring blossom or flower? I quite love them all. I'm ready for all the color after the long winter we've had. You could also cluster several of them together if you'd like. You can also have them alternating on either side of each of the twigs. So this one's sort of facing one direction and the next one the other direction. I'm actually going to add one more up here like that and group them together. My branches didn't really lie flat on the canvas as I was kind of expecting them to, but that's okay. It gives, it's actually giving the piece kind of a three-dimensional quality. Be generous with the glue. I like these little tips from the top of the pine cones. Super cute, let me pair this guy. You typically find the blossoms at the tips of the branches, so you wanna be sure not to neglect those. What do you think? Would you have gone all one color, or do you like the variety of the different pinks, shades of pink that I have going here? I'm kind of loving it. I'm not even sure that I need more. Maybe one more little guy right there. We'll do one more right there in the center of the little ones. There we go. I'm thinking it's looking pretty beautiful. Did I miss a spot? Is there anywhere that I should add a little bit more? It's really coming off of the canvas, if you can see that. Just lovely. I don't know. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in the We're in a Lockdown collab. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you again soon. Happy crafting. Bye!